was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could have Hey guys, welcome to the Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo, and today we're talking about Roman style pizza. Uh, if you don't know what Roman style pizza is, it's very similar to Sicilian pizza or spincione or, or even focaccia. It's like a thicker pizza, and uh, it's got various unconventional toppings like like potatoes and eggs and octopus and very very cool unusual ingredients. Um, and the thing that makes it different is that it is super light, light and fluffy. Uh, so, and how they get that texture with the dough is uh, they use a cold fermentation process and they leave it in the fridge for up to 72 hours, and that that gives the dough time to develop the all the all the necessary glutens and, and stuff that makes it um, airy. So, it's definitely a different experience. If you haven't tried it, um, you should. And it's it's pretty amazing. So Roman style pizza is typically sold by weight. It's uh, pizza al taglio, which means by the cut. Uh, so essentially, they will cut the pizza with scissors, and um, you kind of just go. You're like, I want this one, I want that one, and they'll they'll cut it based on however much you want, which is awesome because you can kind of try like. 10 or 15 different pizzas if you wanted to and just get like slivers of them just to kind of get a taste for each one of them which is which is awesome so you can kind of customize um, how much pizza you want so one of the most well-known Roman style pizza makers is Gabriel Bonci. Um, he opened his first pizzeria in 2003 in Rome, and he's kind of synonymous with Roman style pizza. Uh, he's got two locations here in Chicago, one in Wicker Park and one in the West Loop. Uh, and I know they plan on opening two more locations in Miami and New Orleans, which is awesome. So if you go to a Bonci, they have 12 to 15 different varieties of pizza, which is awesome. Then they're all different. Um, so you can you can kind of pick and choose what you want. They have a visual. It's a visual menu. Um, there, there's no like menu board or anything. You just kind of point and shoot, point and pick and whatever you want. They also sell this thing called soupli, which is like an arancini. If you're if you're if you're familiar with that, it's the rice balls basically that are filled with various things. Um, these soupli are typically filled with potatoes and cheese and maybe like some meat. Uh, they also, they're also filled with spaghetti, which is awesome. Uh, it's deep fried spaghetti balls. How could you go wrong with that? So we had the pleasure of meeting uh, Mr. Gabriel Bonchi while he was here in Chicago, uh, kind of doing businessy stuff and kind of checking in and all that fun stuff um, he is such a nice person and I think um, you kind of get that like that passion that he has for pizza so the thing about Banshee is that he is actually he considers himself a baker so the, the pizza thing is kind of just part of his whole like his whole thing. Uh, he considers himself a baker first, and then a pizza, a pizziola, which is very interesting. He's just super passionate about baking breads, pastries, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, the pizza, the pizza thing is kind of just like a, like part of it, like I said. So we were lucky enough to see Gabriel Bunchy in action making something, and he made this muffaletta sandwich essentially, but with a Roman style twist to it. Uh, it was like it was. Um, like mushrooms and uh, induya and mortadella and there's a bunch of like seasonings and um, cheese and just it was it was delicious. So if you come across Roman style pizza, uh, like a pizzeria that sells it, I would definitely recommend trying it. It's really good, especially like I said, if you like thick crust pizza, um, I think you'll enjoy it. If you're in Chicago, definitely check out Banchi, uh, two locations, and again, he'll be in Miami and New Orleans at some point, um, probably this year. Um, so yeah, check out Banchi. Thanks guys for watching as always. Uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, give it two big fat thumbs up. And until next time, ciao for now. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. The only boy who could ever feed me was the son of a pizza man. Yes, he was. He was.